Okay, I think we are officially live. Let's see if everything kicks in. Let's see, there we go. Okay, we are officially up. All right, let's see how long it takes somebody to, some people to start showing up. Let's see, let's get this angle right. There we go. That looks good. Let's see. We are 30 seconds in. Uh, hello, oh, here comes everybody. <laughs> here comes everybody. <laughs> Here comes everybody. I was waiting. <laughs> I'm like, who's going to be the first person to show up today? <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Uh, mic check, mic check. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear the game? Uh, can you guys, uh, how's everything looking, guys? Let's see here. Hello, hello, everybody. How is everybody? <laughs> here comes everybody. Pachimo, yes, we can hear you. Uh, we can hear everything. Ozzy, uh, <laughs> everything's fine. Can you guys hear the game okay? Can you guys hear the music? Can you guys hear, um, can you guys hear the music and everything from this? Loud and clear? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. How's the balance? How's the balance between my voice and the game? Is everything sound? Let me see. Uh, actually, let's do this. I think I can just hit the, here, let's, uh, actually, let's do this. there we go. The... Here, okay, so now I can hear myself. This is really weird. Okay. Okay, so now I can hear myself. This is really weird. Okay. Okay, so let's turn up the audio a little bit. Let's see, audio input's already at max. Let's turn down the desktop audio just a little bit. Sorry guys, while well, I'm trying to figure all this out, I'm just getting the whole thing set up. Uh, it sounds a little soft. Uh, can you guys can hear me okay? You guys can hear me okay? It's just, it sounds like if I listen to it through this. The mic isn't as loud. Is the mic isn't as loud. The mic isn't as loud. Okay. All right. Well, all right. We'll go with it. We'll just go with it. We'll go with it. Okay. All right. Well, all right. We'll go with it. We'll just go with it. We'll go with it. Okay. Right. Well, right. We're going to turn that down a little bit and mute. Okay. Cool. 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 So yeah, guys. So, uh, you know, it's the middle of the afternoon and everything. And I was just like, you know what we're going to do? I talked about this yesterday during my live stream, uh, or not live stream during my premiere with all my Titanic films, my Olympic class films. And I proposed, would you guys like me to do another let's play? of the uh, Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean game. And some people said, yeah, so that's what, that's what I thought we would do. That's what I thought we would do. Have, have any of you guys played this? Have any of you guys played this game? Oh, it's beautiful. Hi, Sam. Let's see here. Uh, the echo is about, oh, there would have been a little bit of an echo while I was listening to, uh, while I was listening to uh, the, my own audio. There's a setting to where I can play the audio. Uh, on PC, yes, it is on PC. Uh, let's see here. Kotal says, how do you download it? It's on Steam. It's like $15 on Steam. Very easy to get your hands on this. Let's see here. Ship Nerd. Love it. Want to try this? Awesome. Listen, I would highly recommend this game. It is a ton, ton of fun. Uh, David says, is it on PlayStation 2? I don't think PlayStation 2 could run this. <laughs> it's just, just my two cents on that. I don't think, uh... I don't think the PlayStation 2 could run this. <laughs> but yes, you can actually experience the entire sinking of the Britannic. Okay, so now that we are going, I wonder how long it's going to take Maritime History to show up. <laughs> uh, Burn says, you're my favorite YouTuber, Sam. Thanks so much, Burn. I super appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we're going to play the sinking. Full real-time sinking, all right? <clears throat> Here we go. Captain says, it's on PS2. I don't think they've made a PS2 game... <laughs> When did they stop PS2? I mean, it came out in, what, 2000? And the PS3 came out in, what, 2006, 2007? PS2 would have been discontinued somewhere around then, I think. <coughs> uh, Zan says, will you play the Titanic game when Honor and Glory release? It? Yeah, eventually. I played their demo and everything. Okay, guys, here we are on the deck of the HMHS Britannic, His Majesty Hospital Ship. Let's see. Uh, Lady Cat says the graphics look great. Oh yeah, they absolutely look phenomenal. So right now we are steaming. Uh, I actually, it's been a while since I've uh, looked into Britannic, but um, I believe the ship departed Naples a few days earlier and we are steaming through the Kia channel right now. So there's the island of Kia to our right. And I can't remember what island that was off of to the left, but Let's see here. Uh, Chesta says, was there supposed to be another Gantry Davit on the port side close to the bridge? Yes, there was supposed to be another. Uh, so there's a Gantry Davit right there. 
And there was supposed to be another gantry davit right here, but they didn't have time to install it. They had to get the ship out to sea uh, a lot quicker. And no, it wasn't removed, Libby. They just never put it on there. They just never installed it. <coughs> what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? Okay, it is 8.10. So we still have a couple of minutes before the mine detonation. Uh, the desktop audio seems like it's really... Okay, uh, here, I'm going to turn up the desktop audio a little bit. There we go. Maybe that'll help you guys hear the game a little better. There we go. Let's see. Is there an Olympic version? No, nah, there's no Olympic version with this. There isn't an Olympic version. Not yet. We're still waiting on the Titanic one to come out. <coughs> Let's see what we got. What we got. I hear it. I hear it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Zachary says, this game is the best way to experience an unintentional war crime. Yeah, I mean, Britannic, it was an accident. You know, it wasn't like the Lusitania where, you know, they attacked her and everything and it sparked all this controversy. Where it was a mine and the Britannic wasn't specifically targeted by the U-boat. You know, it it wasn't met with as much backlash. And the fact that there was a much lower loss of life. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man overboard! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Man overboard. <laughs> uh, do you think they'll come back for me? Do you think they'll come back for me? Man overboard. Uh, hang on. Let me. I'm, Man I'm overboard. Uh, hang on. Me, oh, that sounds I'm a lot better. Overboard. That sounds a lot better. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There we go. Okay, uh, so yeah, Britannic is now leaving me behind. Britannic is now leaving me behind. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, Sophie, it's for the best, Sam, to stay off that ship. But why? What is what is possibly going to happen to Britannic? Why should I, uh, why should I stay off the ship? Why do I need to stay off the uh, Britannic? Let's see. Uh, Titanic fan restart. Yep, well, all you have to do is hit the F key, and it spawns you back on the ship. That's all you gotta do. Oh! What was that? What was that? Something just happened. Uh... And there goes the Marconi wire. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, when Britannic hit the mine, it actually warped the Britannic's hull a bit. And it caused the, the cable that was strung between the Britannic's mast to snap, and that was the Marconi wire. And... What that meant was Britannic could send out a distress signal. See, you can see it right there, swaying back and forth. So Britannic could send out a distress signal, but they could not receive. Right. Uh, Libby, exactly. She can't receive any messages. Absolutely. That is 100% correct. Britannic cannot receive any signals. So right now, full damage inspection is about to be carried out, and we aren't really listing at all yet. <clears throat> Possum, how many lifeboats are on board the ship? I'm not 100% certain. Uh, I see Pro says 48. Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't know that number off the top of my head. But as you can see, she was absolutely loaded with lifeboats. 100% there are lifeboats all over this ship. Uh, Skull says, no, it was totally a torpedo, Sam. No, it wasn't. Um, they found evidence. They found evidence that it was a mine. I believe they found some, like, um, they found a report that a U-boat was in this area shortly before the Britannic came through. And it said that they, like, their reports said that the U-boat deployed mines here. So, that's how they figured out it was a mine. Uh, Libby says, wait, Sam, how did they do that? Did, how'd they do what? How'd they do, how did they do what? Uh, Zachary says, Sam, it was a berg. Definitely just a berg. <laughs> right? It was definitely just an iceberg. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. Um... Uh, Stan says, it was a war crime to torpedo a hospital ship. You are correct. It was, uh, the Treaty of Paris, uh, established cruiser rules that they should use and let that in times of war, you know, uh, people should follow and commanders and stuff like that should follow. And the cruiser rule said, you do not torpedo torpe or, torpedo hospital ships. And unfortunately, that wasn't a rule that was always obeyed. <clears throat> I know, uh, Libby says the Geneva Convention. I know they officially talked about the treaty was called the Treaty of Paris, but I'm not sure if it was linked to that, but it, it might have been. I'm not sure. But I know it was called the Treaty of Paris. I remember that from my uh, Lusitania series. We researched that. 
Uh, Wasa, did anyone die inside of the ship? As far as I know, the only deaths that occurred inside of the ship were from the mine detonation. I believe that killed a few people. Oh, there goes the alarm. That is loud. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, one more check, guys, uh, between my microphone and the game. Can you guys hear both of us okay? Can you guys hear the game okay? And can you hear me okay? Okay, there goes the whistle for emergency stations. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. All right, cool, guys. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Captain Bartlett is blowing the Britannic's whistle now to go ahead and signal that it is time to get to the muster station. Wow, I just realized my hair is like... Whenever I do these streams, I always realize that my hair goes absolutely bonkers, but whatever. Let's see. Hold on a second. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> what I do? Did I bump the mic when I stood up and my mic and the <laughs> it just shot my mic? I must have bumped my mouse when I looked up <laughs> and it aimed the camera at the sky. <laughs> That's a lovely sky. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, alarm is going off. Oh, we got our first super chat of the stream, Jennifer Five. Thank you so much. What's up, Sam? What's up, Jennifer? This is so interesting. Thank you for doing it. I'm at work, though, so I have to go. I'll watch it later. Have a great day. Thanks, Jennifer, and good luck at work. Thank you for the support, and thank you for the super chat. All right, what, what time is it? So, Britannic's final plunge begins just after 9 o'clock, so we've got about 45 minutes before the final plunge begins. Uh, William says, bro, watch the Bright Side movie. Uh, Bright Side. Oh, wait, bro, watch the Britannic. Oh, Bright Side. Bro, I, I, I see a B, I just think uh, Bright Side. William says, bro, watch the Britannic movie. It's awful. I mean, so good. Can, can we not, can we not, like, uh, like, have me suffer? Like, can we just have a little bit of time when I'm not dying inside? <laughs> uh, that's so funny how, like, when you see the first letter of a word, your brain makes, like, assumes what the word is, and you have to double check. You're like, oh, wait a minute. Uh, Maximum says, man is haunted by Brightside. Well, you it's, it's your guy's fault. I mean, it's, if you guys didn't like watching me torture myself, then <laughs> I'm totally not blaming you or anything. <laughs> uh, Ozzy, do another poll on that, Sam. <laughs> so right now, the, uh, they are venting out steam for the Britannics uh, from Boiler Room 6 and Boiler Room 5. So under the mine detonation, you see the Britannic could handle her first six watertight compartments flooded and the ship would not sink okay and due to the mine detonation the first six watertight compartments were breached all right now the britannic could only remain afloat with six compartments breached if she remained motionless however even though she could survive that damage what ultimately just uh, doomed britannic was the fact that her um earlier in the morning the nursing staff had went along and opened up all these porthole windows. So, like, look how look how far down she already is. So soon after the uh, so short so soon after the mine detonation, she's already down this much. And all of those porthole windows, I believe it said online, um, what was it? Like three tons of seawater per minute can get in through one porthole window. So Britannic is rapidly flooding. And the fact that Captain Bartlett was trying to beach the ship. That is called force flooding. Which forced even more water into the Britannic. So, yeah, it's not very good. It is not very good at all. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll try it right there. And let me see. We'll try it right there. Okay, that sounds all right. And... Okay, we're good. Sorry, guys. I'm just playing with the audio. <clears throat> I'm just playing with the audio right now. Uh, Stan says, what game is this and how do I get it? Stan, this is Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean. Okay, it's a game where you can experience the sinking of the HMHS Britannic, and it is available on Steam for $15. And right now, the first few lifeboats are being prepped for launch. So at this time, Captain Bartlett has ordered the crew to begin prepping the lifeboats but he did not order them launched. We have a very, very slight list of ports. But yeah, none of the lifeboats were available for launch yet. Or no, he said do not launch the boats yet. Just get them ready to go. And that's what's happening right now. The crew is beginning to prep these boats. 
Oh, we got another super chat. 10 from Nerd. Thank you so much. I might be confused with the rudder and the actual side, so correct me. But port side is to the left and starboard is on the right. So why did they say hard to starboard on Titanic? You are correct. So uh, starboard is right, port is left. But during the time of Titanic, they used what's called tiller commands, okay? So whenever, essentially, the way to think of tiller commands is do the opposite of what your commanding officer tells you to do. So if your officer screams hard to starboard, you turn the ship to port. If they yell hard to port, you turn to starboard. That's essentially what it was. It was backwards to what it really was. Good question, by the way, nerd. Good question. Good question. Luke says, well, I haven't watched this channel since uh, he hit 50,000. Well, welcome back, good sir. I'm glad to have you back. I think I'm just going to hop on this boat. Ugh, ninja. Okay, we're just going to we're gonna parkour our way up onto this boat. Jason, was Britannic carrying any normal passengers? No. Britannic was actually en route to pick up some passengers. Uh, or not passengers, uh, pick up some, like, uh, victims from the war. Like, uh, patients. Patients, that's the word. They were en route to pick up patients when this accident happened. So the only people that were on board the Britannic at the time was hospital staff and the ship's crew. Uh, let's see here. Libby, Sam, Sam, what's wrong? What's wrong, guys? What's wrong? What, 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 what's, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Lego says they need to do an interior while sinking. That would be cool. They, they, would, they, they could add that. Uh, Lou says the propellers. What's wrong with the propellers? <laughs> I know what you're talking about, but no, it's not this boat. So these, so at this time, Captain Bartlett did not order any of the lifeboats on Britannic to be launched. He just did not. What's happening right now is these boats were launched by crew members that di that disobeyed his orders. And because Britannic is still moving, look at how close this lifeboat came to destruction. Look what's right here. Can you guys see this problem? If you guys were in this boat, would you be worried? Would you guys be worried right now? Oh! Oh, <laughs> it hit me. Would you guys be worried? I think that was a glitch. <laughs> they were, uh... Uh, Jenna says, I would nope myself out of there. <laughs> yeah, so this boat, uh, Lego says, nah, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, this boat was launched without the captain's permission. And by nothing more than sheer luck, it actually cleared the ship. It was nothing more than luck that this lifeboat got away from Britannic. Let's see here. Mindy, holy moly, yeah. <laughs> Say, Mindy, is this your first time hearing about the Britannic? Is this your first time hearing this story? True Crazy Lion, ow, hit by the propeller. Yeah, I think I did get nicked by the propeller there. I think I, I think that did happen. Uh, let's see. Uh, Britannic's biggest fan ever. <laughs> cool. Will they ever, uh, will they raise Britannic artifacts? I'm pretty sure they have. They brought up some stuff, but, you know, Britannic just doesn't have as much worldwide interest as, like, the Titanic does, so... The big thing that I am curious about with the Britannic is, um... I'm curious if the ship's grand staircase is in similar condition to that of Titanic, you know? And I just, I would really like it if they would go and explore the grand staircase. You can kind of see it right there. I can't go in there, but you can see it right there. And I would love it if they would go and explore the Britannic's grand staircase and everything and check that out. Okay, so at this time, the evacuation of the Britannic is still in prepping. Like, they're still prepping everything. They're still doing inspections and everything. And passengers are making their way up to the boat deck, getting in their lifeboat stations. Violet Jessup is on her way up to the boat deck. Uh, let's see here. Ozzy, Maritime is closing the porthole so she can be beached. Okay, good, good, good. Maritime's on it. Is Maritime here? I actually haven't seen Maritime history yet. I have not seen Maritime history yet. Oh, we got another super chat from Willie10. Thank you so much. Hi, Sam. I love your videos, and just like uh, and just like yourself, I know a bit about the Olympic-class ships because of James Cameron 1997 Titanic. After, in my teen years and early 20s, I started to learn about the sisters. That's awesome. Yeah, that was kind of me, too. Like, at first, all I ever paid attention to was Titanic, and then I slowly started to learn more and more about these other ships as time went on. That's, ex like, me and you are in the exact same boat, man. That's so cool, man. Thank you much for the super chat. Super appreciate you, man. Uh, Graham, sup, Sam? What's up, Graham? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Okay, so where do you guys want to see? Uh, Possum says, hey, look, the pool's overflowing. Yeah, the pool is overflowing. I'm, I'm sure the pool is flooding right around now. Britannic, after, um, after 15 minutes, 
Britannic was in roughly the same condition that Titanic was after an hour. So Britannic sank a lot faster than the uh, Britannic sank a lot faster than the Titanic. Hey, look who's here! It is none other than the world famous Blue Star Line. Welcome to the stream, man. I'm glad to see you here. <laughs> What's going on, Blue? Hey, man, we definitely need to do, like, a collab stream or something sometime. You know, like, uh, play one of these games. Or something. Oh, hey, Blue, you know what we ought to do? We ought to uh, stream together. Uh, we ought to do the, the Nazi zombie uh, Titanic Call of Duty thing. I think that would be so much fun. I saw your video on that. Do you guys want us to do that? Would you guys like me and Blue to live stream that? The Nazi zombie Call of Duty uh, Titanic map? <laughs> I think that would be so much fun. <laughs> Blue, yes. <laughs> we should totally do that. We should totally do Yes, 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 yes. The Call of Duty. People have mentioned me doing that before. They've talked about that. All right. You know what? Let's take a look. Uh, everything seems stable over here. Let's see how far down the Britannic is. Odyssey, yes, and Mike Brady. Yeah, Mike Brady could join too. That'd be fun. That would be a lot of fun. Okay. We are... Okay. We are... It's 825. 825. <clears throat> Titanic fan, did Britannic ever have a band? I don't think so. Cam up! <laughs> and I am okay after cannonballing into the sea. <laughs> wow, look how far down she is. Good lord. Listen, when you look at it from this perspective, like, Britannic sank so fast. I mean, look at that. She went down so fast. <coughs> I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure that would break my legs if I jump from that high. Just, just, just a hunch, just a hunch. I'm pretty sure that would break my legs. Okay, the gantry davits are turned on. That alarm is really annoying. That alarm is really loud. Okay, so they're using, this was a new revolutionary feature of Britannic, were these electric crane davits. They are called gantry davits. And Britannic also had actual, um... If I can get up here. Yeah, they actually had uh, motorized lifeboats. So, like, these lifeboats had propellers and everything. Was Britannic the first ship to have that? I, I don't know of any other ships that had the motorized lifeboats during this time period. Does anybody know? I'm asking the chat. Does anybody know if any other ships had these motorized lifeboats that the Britannic had? Because I, I just, I don't know of them off the top of my head. Uh, Britannic fan, yes, yes. Uh, Britannic, she was the first. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Britannic probably was. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But yeah, look, they were not messing around with these lifeboats. Look how many they've got on here. They were uh, completely prepared. Oh, we got another super chat. Sorry if I... Oh, Nerd5 again. Thank you. I wonder how cold the water was where Britannic sank. Uh, of course, uh, nowhere near uh, as cold as the Titanic. Yeah, I am not 100% certain. I know at Lusitania, it was roughly 50 degrees. And it sank in November. November 21st, 1916. To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure uh, how cold the uh, how cold the water was uh, when the Britannic where the Britannic sank. Okay, lifeboat is being launched. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and watch this boat go. All right, we're gonna get in this boat. Uh, uh, let's see. Arizona says, "Man, those are some huge." Uh, the gantry davits are large. Yeah, they are. They are definitely. Uh, Pamela says, what game is this? This is Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean, where you can experience the sinking of the HMHS Britannic. Ring5, thank you so much. Hi, Sam. I absolutely love your videos. Thanks so much, Ring. Uh, it's awesome you cover other ships like Britannic. Do you have any plans for some ships like the Bismarck? So, um, the Bismarck... I am planning to do a video on the Bismarck. That's actually going to be the first, uh, warship I cover. But I'm planning to do it between the, uh... The Bismarck and the Hood. Like I'm gonna cover all of that stuff. I'm gonna cover I'm gonna cover both ships in that moment. The Bismarck and the Hood. Okay, we are in this lifeboat and we are clear of the Britannic. Uh Graham Knight. Uh Greek water is fairly cold. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's just not as cold as Titanic, you know. Man, look at all these boats. Okay, so guys, here's the thing you need to understand. This lifeboat, just like the first boat we talked about earlier. This boat was launched without Captain Bartlett's permission. Okay. Oh, crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. Oh, I hit the wrong key. Okay, okay, okay. We got to get back to that boat. We got to get back to that boat. We got to get back to that boat. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I cannot believe I just did that. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Okay, we've got a parkour. We have to parkour. Parkour, parkour. And parkour! Woohoo! Oh. <laughs> run, Sam, run. Yes, yes, we have to get off the ship in this boat. We have to get off the ship in this boat. Okay, we're good. Okay. 
Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. 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 All right, we're good. We're good. All right, uh, let's see here. Libra says, why is the ship leaking more? I think it's just a glitch. I think it's just a glitch. Okay, so guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of history with this boat. Do you see this problem? Do you see what I'm heading towards right now? So this boat was launched without Captain Bartlett's permission. And because Britannic was still moving forward at the time, this boat, well, uh, you're about to see what happened to this boat. So, yeah, uh, you just saw me get sliced apart by the, uh, by the life, <laughs> by the propeller. So, that is actually what happened to that lifeboat. That boat was launched before Captain Bartley gave the all clear, and <coughs> it got sucked into the Britannic's propeller, and it killed several people that were on board it. There were survivors, but, yeah, that's what happened. That is what happened. That is what happened. <coughs> Let's see a true crease line. Ah, right. Absolutely. Yep. And these guys like that are up here, they had, they had no idea. And Captain Bartlett didn't know. So right now, what's happening is Captain Bartlett is trying to get the Britannic to the island of Kia. <coughs> Excuse me. He's trying to beach the ship. Now, there's something else you need to know. When Britannic hit the mine, it actually disabled the Britannic's helm. So the ship's wheel wasn't responding anymore. So what he was doing to try to turn the ship was he had the central and the port side propeller engaged, but the starboard side propeller was turned off. And that's how he was trying to push the ship over towards the, uh, the island of Kia. Uh, nerd, would the captain stop the engines before letting the lifeboats release? Yes. Well, obviously, yeah. Before the lifeboats were launched, Captain Bartlett would stop the ship's engines. But yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, this game has no, like... You can't swim. Like, you just walk on the water. So, yeah, we're back here, and you can see how the two props uh, on the uh, the port and central prop are engaged, but the starboard one is turned off. Up, oh, we've got another boat. Okay, so I've got another history lesson for you. All right. So, there was another light boat that was in the process of being launched, okay? But uh, still, Captain Bartlett had not given the all clear for any of these lifeboats to leave the ship, okay? And it was this lifeboat right here, okay? So this lifeboat, <clears throat> men got into this boat, they started to lower the boat over the ship's side, and then the crewman that was operating these gantry davits, well, he stopped lowering this boat. Like, he just, he left, he let the boat hang right here, okay? And when he stopped the boat, the men that were in this boat were screaming at him. They were screaming at him. They were cursing at him. And they were like, put this boat into the water right now. And he said, no, I do not have the captain's permission. And let me see if I can. Oh, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss. Ah, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Anyway, so the men were in that boat. And they looked down and saw this boat going directly under them. Okay? And this boat, the second boat launched from the port side, well... They looked, the men in this boat that's hanging there looked in horror as this boat that was full of people shared the exact same fate as the first boat. And, well. So, yeah, after that, the men that were in the boat that was hanging there, they, uh, they stopped, they stopped yelling and cursing at the man who was on the deck after that point. They, uh. They understood uh, what was going on. And uh, fun fact, uh, one of the... Oh, and as soon as that second boat went into the propellers, Captain Bartlett became aware of the situation and ordered the Britannic's engines to stop. So as soon as he learned about the second boat, he's like, stop the engines. There's a problem. We got we to gotta deal with this. So yeah, right now, Britannic's propellers stopped. And it's a good thing, too, because they stopped right before this other boat was heading towards them. And at this point, the full-on evacuation of the Britannic is now underway. <clears throat> they really got lucky. Oh, we got another super chat. Hang on. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, we got five from some history. Thank you so much. No message, though. Thank you. And let's see. Welding sent a $1 super chat. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for the support. <clears throat> uh, Taylor, uh, Taylor says, then you say thank you. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, look how close this boat came. Look at that. Look at that. Look how close 
that boat came. If Captain Bartlett hadn't ordered the Britannic's engines to stop, that boat would have been sliced to bits. I mean, it was... Oh! How did I get killed by the propeller? The propeller was stopped! How did it... How did that happen? How did I get killed by the propeller? Uh, hold on. Uh, we got a spammer. There we go. Oh, we got another super chat. We got five from Wheelie. Thank you so much. Oh, and uh, real quick before I get to that, uh, Captain Bartlett is blowing the ship's whistle right now, and that's a cue to begin the evacuation. So the full-on evacuation of the Britannic is now underway. Lifeboats are being launched like crazy. So in the next 20 minutes or so, you're going to see most of these lifeboats be successfully lowered away from the Britannic. I mean, it is going to be going absolutely bonkers now as far as the evacuation. Uh, Willie 5 thank you. Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say, when it comes to Britannic sinking, it's unclear if she hit a seaman or a torpedo because there's two different stories. I mean, Willie, what you're saying is true. I mean, you can't say for certain you know you can't wait you can't say for certain you know what if it was a torpedo or a mine but the thing is there's documentation that there was a u-boat in this area and it was laying mines shortly before britannic came in here so and the u-boat wasn't operating in this area during as far as we know there were no u-boats around here at the time that britannic sunk so i mean True, you can't say for sure. Maybe there was an undocumented U-boat, or maybe there's a report uh, that I don't know about. But from everything that I've seen, there is a report that there was a U-boat in this area, and that it was laying mines in this area. And so, that's that's my two cents on that, you know. But you are right, we can't say for certain. Uh, Ring 5, thank you. Awesome to hear. I can't wait for you to talk about the Hood and the Bismarck. I was full of emotions when they found uh, Mushi, the sister of... Uh, Mushashi, the sister of the Yamato. I don't, uh, when they find that, I'm not familiar with all of those warships history. Uh, what's the story there? What's the story there? Uh, but thanks for the super chat, man. But yes, I am going to cover that. Uh, we got a $2 super chat from Nerd. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for your support, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. I think you were referencing Futurama. <laughs> Thank you for the support, man. Uh, the what we got, what we got, what we got. <clears throat> uh, Nickelodeon uh, says, Sam, the ship is listing because the wind is super strong today and it's making it fall forward and they are testing the fire alarm and the pool is flooding. So the pool is flooding, the ship is listing from the wind and they're just testing an alarm? That's, that, that's what you're saying? That's what you're saying right now? They're just... And uh, the ship is listing and we are very far over to starboard? Or Yeah, so you're saying this is nothing that we should be concerned about? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? There is, uh, there is nothing. I, this is nothing I should be concerned about. Is that right? Is that, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Let's see what's going on forward. I'm going to do some amazing ninja parkour action now. This game is full of me doing parkour. Parkour! Parkour. There we go. Yep, as you can see, these boats are being lowered like crazy. <clears throat> uh, hydraulic prank, right? Uh, Quad says, this ship can't sink. Uh, she's made of iron, sir. I assure you, she can. And she will. It is a mathematical certainty. Parkour! <laughs> Whenever I hear parkour, I always think of that episode of The Office. I always think of that, uh, that episode of The Office. And in case y'all are wondering, potato chip. <laughs> Potato chip. Mm. Nerd says, give me your chips. <laughs> I think that'd be a problem. <laughs> These are my chips. Delicious and mine. <laughs> Let's see here. Clay, $2. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi, Clay. Uh, Zelda says, Sam, promise me you will never let go. Uh, never let go of what? Never let go of the ship? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, it's... Zelda or Zeta? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I will never let go of this ship. You know, I am a parkour ninja. I am going to do all of these jumps and all of these stunts, and nothing could possibly go wrong. I mean, I'm serious. Nothing nothing could go wrong. Nothing could go wrong. Even with me jumping around and all this other stuff. stuff. I mean, I'll never let go! <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> Uh, Commander says, came late, but not too late. No, no, you're doing fine, man. You are doing absolutely fine. We are in the middle of the full-on evacuation of the Britannic right now. Actually, let's go over to the port side. 
Uh, Lego says, bro tried. Yeah, I tried, I tried. Uh, hold on, guys. Uh, I think we're getting behind on some super chats. Uh, let me backtrack. Uh, Ring, too, thank you so much. Mushi was, uh, Musashi was found in 2015, sunk in 1944. Um, uh, by the Filipinas. Uh, Philip, Philip, uh, Philippines, Philippines, okay. Uh, cool, thank you, Ring. And Willie, five, thank you. Uh, my last, um, I didn't know that, but thank you for telling me that, man. And Willie Five, my last comment was my personal opinion for what I read uh, uh, from victim statements. Well, yeah, but at the time, at the time, Willie, at at the time, what they thought was uh, they thought it was a torpedo. You know, that's what they thought at the time. You know, that that's what that that is what they thought at the time. It is all about the um, er at the time everybody thought that it was a mo or a torpedo. That's what everybody thought. Let's see here. Hawkeye, Sam, let me make a surprise appearance. Hey, Hawkeye, hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing well, man. Hope you're doing good. All right, I think we're all caught up on the Super Chats. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see here. Ha uh, have you ever seen the Britannic documentary? Yes, I've seen some Britannic documentaries. Did you guys ever see the, um, did you guys ever see the documentary where that diver he was, they were trying to see if these watertight doors were closed, okay? Or these, if these watertight doors were shut. And anyway, when he got in there, when he got in there, he actually, uh, a wheelbarrow, like a coal wheelbarrow fell over. And it, it, me it screwed up his oxygen mixture. So it was like oxygen and helium mixture and everything, and it messed everything up. He barely got out of there. He absolutely barely got out of there. Now this... Gantry Davit, it started to move, but it stopped. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Let's see. Finn says, Hey, Sam, have you heard of the Zeberg ferry disaster? My mom had a friend that passed away in that sinking. No, I've never heard of that. What is it? And I'm sorry that your mom, pa your mom had a friend who passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, let me see. So it will not be too much longer now. So during this evacuation, okay, when all the boats are being lowered away and everything, uh, Captain Bartlett reached the decision that, from his perspective, it looked like the sinking of the Britannic had slowed. Here, let's jump off so you guys can see the ship. From his perspective, it looked like the ship had slowed down and sinking. So what he decided to do was re-engage the Britannic's propellers and try to get the ship back towards Kia Island once they got a good number of the boats off. But look at how fast... The evacuation is uh, being carried out, you know? Look how fast the ship is going down. <clears throat> she is dropping like crazy. Uh, Lil says, must have been scary boarding and lowering in those damage. Yeah, it was, I'm sure. She is dropping fast. Uh, let's see here. Kuba says Lusitania went down fast too. Lusitania was like, <laughs> that was a whole other disaster. Like, I mean, Lusitania went down in 18 minutes. At least on this ship, you kind of have time to react and figure out what's going on. You know, you, you have time to get your bearings, you know? But Daniel says those electrical davits make a difference. They 100% do. These electrical davits make a absolutely huge difference. Listen, like, and that's that's one thing that people always like to talk about with Titanic. They like to say, oh, if Titanic had enough lifeboats, then everyone would have been saved and everything. And, I mean, sure, the ship should have had enough lifeboats for everybody on board, but she wasn't equipped with the right systems to launch the boats effectively. You know, she just had the regular davits. And think about how much more time it would have taken the crew to get the boats moved around and everything. But look how efficient these uh, gantry davits are. Look how efficient they get all these boats off the ship. I mean, they are they are moving like crazy, you know? Absolutely like crazy. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, Nickelodeon says, Historic Travels, are you ever going to do a video on the Titanic Brightside quiz? Maybe eventually, okay? Maybe eventually. I don't know. I, that would be fun to do, I think. <laughs> that would be fun to do. Can I climb this? Uh, ninja? Nope. Now, guys, um, I showed this during when I did my last Britannic stream uh, back in uh, back during the anniversary. I streamed this back in November. 
Why is that Edmund Fitzgerald song in my head? Uh, the gales of November came running. <laughs> but anyway, there is a glitch in this game, and if any of you all want to try it, you have to wait till the ship sinks to a certain point. I think I'll have to wait until after the ship re-engages its engines. But if you stand in just the right spot, okay, in just the right spot, then you can actually glitch your way inside of the Britannic. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Aiden says, what are, uh, Aiden says, what are those very small portholes at the lower hall? I mean, as far as I know, they're just called portholes. I didn't know there was another name for them. Holy cow, nerd! Holy cow, dude! 50? Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you so much, man! Holy cow! Imagine, uh, you're living in the 1700s. You have to leave your country because of war. Uh, you board a wooden boat that has an 8% chance of sinking. You sit next to smelly people. You're seasick. There's no activities. There's rats. Oh, so you're talking about the conditions on those old clipper ships. Yeah, like, uh, that is... <laughs> Sailing on those clipper ships was, uh... It was a very hard thing to do. And, you know, being on board, like, these ships were seen as a massive upgrade from clipper ships. You know, like, they wanted... You know, White Star Line, Canard and everything, they wanted these ships to be like, you know, luxurious hotels. Like, you're not sailing across the ocean on a ship. You are, you're at a hotel, you know? You're 100% at a hotel. That's, that, that's what's happening here. That is what's happening here. They want you to be in a hotel. Uh, oh, that was trippy. <laughs> Now, guys, I am going to warn you, if you ever try to play this game in VR, um, this game is awesome. I love it. Don't play it in VR, <laughs> okay? Like, it's not, um, it's not optimized for VR, like, not at all. And I tried it. I've got the, uh, the Quest, uh, the Quest 2, the Oculus, or, yeah. And anyway, this, I got so motion sick. When I tried that, that it's, it, I was like, uh, <laughs> I, I did not feel good after that. <laughs> I had to go lay down for like 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Ample says, Sam, my name is Sam too. Oh, is it awesome? That's really cool. That is really cool. It's just, it's not optimized. It's not optimized good. Oh, look at that guys. Okay. Now steam is venting out from the second funnel. Which means the flooding has reached boiler rooms 4 and 3. And it looks like they're venting steam from funnel 3 as well. You know, one thing I would be really curious about is when did the Britannic's power fail? You know, when did the Britannic's power fail? Because as far as I know, there is no testimony about that. About when exactly the ship's power went out. Let's see. Uh, Jason, have you seen Titanic Honor and Glory? Titanic Honor and Glory. Huh. No, I have never seen Titanic Honor and Glory. I have no idea what Titanic Honor and Glory is. It's not like I am playing their game or anything. Oh, uh, hold on. We've got a spammer. I got to deal with this. And, ooh. and they are gone. Disconnected. Spammer is gone. <laughs> yes, uh, joking aside, I have seen Titanic Honor and Glory. And uh, they do incredible work. Uh, they actually gave me permission to use their syncing animation in my videos, my newer videos. And this game was done by them. This game was 100% done by them. Hawkeye, be gone, the spammer. Yeah, people just want to cause trouble. People just want to cause trouble. That's why, uh, that's why they do this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, RB says, does the first funnel get caught in the lifeboat? Uh, no. Like, the, the, the funnel doesn't fall on any of the lifeboats or anything, if that's what you're asking. Okay, so it will not be too much longer now. Because look at this. The Britannic, it looks really... Oh, hang on. Uh, did he already re-engage the engines? What time is it? Oh, wow. We are... Uh, it's getting late. What's our list? We have a 10-degree list to starboard. Oh, boy. What's our situation? Okay, we don't have water on the forward well deck yet. Okay. Let me see what's going on. Uh, let's see here. Sadly says... Uh, oh, no, it's not sadly. Solve says, get to a lifeboat. What are you doing? I I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. Willie 10 thank you so much. Uh, hi, Sam. Can you do a video of your models, please? Because I'd like to know where you got the small Olympic, Titanic, and Britannic. Uh, are they from 
Gilbo. Uh, I think the company is called. No, they're not. So my small models, as far as I know, you can't get them anymore. They are. Um, they're from Titanic Honor and Glory, and I got them a few years ago when they started working on them. But yeah, they're from Titanic Honor and Glory. Okay, yeah, Captain Bartlett has definitely re-engaged the engines. So at this time, Captain Bartlett ordered the Britannic to stop lowering away the boats, and he re-engaged the engines for one last final attempt to reach Kia Island. Look how, uh, look how high up. Look at this. Look how high up. Yeah, uh, <laughs> she is, uh, she is dropping fast, guys. She is dropping fast. So. The one thing I never understood, though, is take a look at Britannic's position to Kia. I mean, it looks like the ship is facing Kia Island, so I don't know why he only engaged the ship's central prop and her port side prop. At this point, I think the ship has turned enough. He should be able to engage the starboard side prop and have it. Like, I don't know why he still has the ship turning. Like, you see, that's that's what I don't understand. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Danny says, Historic Travels, I have a big question for you. Okay. If you can answer it, then, uh, then okay. Uh, if every single boiler room had a pump on Titanic, would the firemen have been able to delay the flooding? Um, yeah, uh, but there was also the problem that it wasn't just the boiler rooms that didn't have a pump. You have to remember the first three hole or the four peak, uh, all three holds, those areas didn't have pumps either, and boiler room six didn't have a pump. The nearest pump was in boiler room five, so it's not just the boiler rooms that needed pump. Oh, crap. But yeah, it's not just the pumps that needed boiler rooms, uh, the entire front parts of the ship needed it. So, uh, the Titanic just wasn't, the pumps weren't there, and they weren't conveniently placed, to deal with catastrophic flooding. Bow flood. Yep, the forward well deck is going... Oh! Uh, guys, if I jump from there down to here, uh, do you think my legs would be okay? Do you think my legs would be okay? I'm sure. I'm sure that would be okay. I'm sure. I'm sure I'd be okay. I'm sure. I'm sure that'd be okay. Okay, I think I can... It might be too late. Hang on. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see if I can glitch inside Britannic. Okay, come on. <gasps> it's working! It's working! It's working! Yes, I got it! I have glitched inside the Britannic! Uh, so that, that you, if you time it to the sec to the final plunge, you can glitch, your so, your, you can glitch yourself inside of the ship. <laughs> Sam, it's not hacks, it's a glitch. <laughs> yes, I am now inside the Britannic. La da 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 da. <laughs> Heresy. <laughs> it's not hacks, it's skill. <laughs> okay, so there's the bridge. We are now inside the first funnel. Echo! 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 <laughs> Calling no clip, right? And you can see how they didn't animate the inside of the ship at all. Like, here's a dining room, and look at the chairs. They're just polygons. <laughs> uh, we got part of the grand staircase. So this is the reception room, I think. This is where the reception room would be. Legend hacker. It's not hacks. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a glitch. Uh, Gary, five. Thank you. If time travel was invented tomorrow, would you go back and watch the sinking of Titanic, or would you feel morbid doing I would not go back, no. If I don't, I, I don't want to watch the Titanic sink, you know? I don't want to watch that happen, watch those people die. Now, I would go back in time to see the ship before she left Southampton. I'd like to go and check out the ship and everything. Maybe go see her leave Belfast, but I would not want to go watch the sinking of Titanic. Absolutely not. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's see here. I get it. You guys like it when I do uh, the bright side videos. We don't need a poll for that. Mayor Time! There he is! Hi, Sam! Hey, Mayor Time! Welcome to the stream, good sir. I wondered if you were going to show up. I wondered if you were going to show up. I wondered if you were going to show up, Mayor Time. <laughs> hey, Hawkeye. Here, here. Yep. Let's see. Uh, Francesco, why is there no interior to this model? They just didn't do it. You know, they were focusing on getting the sinking right and animating the outside of the ship and everything. I mean, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to animate all this stuff, so. Uh, let's see. Lega says, Sam, were there any ships close to save the passengers? Um, there weren't any ships in the immediate vicinity, but ships were already on their way to Britannic, so it didn't take them long to get here. It didn't take ships very long to get to the Britannic. Ozzy says, welcome to the party. Yeah, welcome to the party, Mayor Time. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is your favorite ship out of the Olympic class? 
I have no idea. You know, I have no idea what ship is my favorite. It's just probably a ship that I made the most videos about. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I do not know which ship could possibly be my favorite. Oh, boy. Guys, do you hear all that groaning? Uh, is everything... Guys, uh, everything okay? Okay. Everything okay? Is everything okay? Uh, is my mic off? Some people are saying that they can't hear. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Mic check, mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Can you guys hear me? Uh, hold on. Mic. Uh, hold on. Mic check, mic check, mic check. Uh, hold on. Mic check, mic check, mic check. I can hear myself. I can hear, I can hear myself. I can hear myself. I can hear, I can hear myself. We hear you. Okay, yeah, I mean, everybody's saying it's, a few people are saying they can't. Okay, everybody's saying it's, a few people are saying they can't. It might, it might have been hard to hear me over the sound of the ship. It's good, it's good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I did a, I did a double check. There's an echo. Yeah, there's an, you hear the echo when, um, you hear the echo when I'm listening to the audio. So I'm back. I'm listening. There's a setting here on YouTube where I can rewind the stream and I can hear myself to see what it sounds like. And whenever I set that, you can, uh, you can, uh, you hear the echo. Oh man. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to go, we're going to go back. Uh, oh, it's perfect. Well, did you say, oh, it's perfect again. Uh, can I climb this? Uh, no, not yet. All right, let's go and check out the lifeboats. Uh, Andrea says the ship is on her way to the seafloor. That she is, Andrea. She is on her way to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, Chris says, what is your favorite Titanic movie? Oh, uh, it's a, t like, I like the James Cameron film, and I like the, uh, A Night to Remember. A Night to Remember is the most accurate, but I still like the James Cameron film. Oh, boy. She's going. This is such a cool game. If any of you are interested in Britannic, like, check this out. <clears throat> Chris5, thank you, sings, I wish for this night time could last for a lifetime. The darkness around me. <laughs> Thanks for the five, Chris. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks for that. I can't sing, okay? I don't even pretend to trap. Uh, Garth5, thank you. Question. Oh, I lost it. Uh, where'd it go? <laughs> Everybody's freaking out now. If the canard funnel, uh, if the canard's funnel collars were red with black tops, why is it every picture I lose hand of the funnels are solid black? Because, um, well, number one, they're black and white photographs, okay? You have to remember that. But the other thing is that during wartime, her funnels were painted black, you know? But yeah, the, the canard funnels were red, and I think they were all... I've also read that canard red, it was a little bit more orangish. I've read that as well. I've read that as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, ring, but yeah, that was it. That was it. Uh, <laughs> Blue says, I refuse to ever make a video of Britannic using that song. <laughs> ring, too, thank you. The sound we heard in the bridge was your stomach growling. Oh, really? Was it my stomach? Or, oh, oh. Mm. I think, I think I need to do something about that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Toby says, did you know the fourth funnel was just to get more passengers? Only the first three funnels worked. So you're partially right. The fourth funnel was an ornament. Uh, they didn't need the fourth funnel. But the fourth funnel actually did serve a purpose. They did put it on to make the ships look more like powerful like with the canard ships lusitania and mauritania but they were also there like it took um smoke from the first class lounge you know smoke from the fireplace it also vented steam and smoke from the ship's galleys it helped circulate or ventilate air throughout the ship so the fourth funnel did serve a purpose but you are right it wasn't connected to the boilers uh let's see here uh gaming says i love your content thank you so much man thank you so much uh pamela says what at what time did the britannic sink her final plunge began just after 9, uh, 9 a.m., and she disappeared probably around 9 like 9.05-ish, right around there. 9.05, 9.07, right around there. I'm sure a bear time. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Maritime, of course, 9.07. Guys, uh, is that a problem? Come on, get up there. Oh, come on, forget it. Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Is that a problem? 
Uh, I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. Nah, it's cool. <laughs> the water is rising. And guys, just so you all know, even at this late stage in the sinking, uh, Captain Bartlett still had the ship's engines going. People, uh, they still had the Britannic's engines running. So here, I'm going to go back here and you all can see. Look at that. <laughs> Look how high out the propeller is. Look at that. Look how high up. And he's still trying. But I mean, granted, he didn't know how high up it was. But, uh, yeah, he's still trying. He's still trying to, uh, good lord, look at that. Uh. <laughs> not good, not good, not good. Just now that's what they call being desperate. I mean, he just wanted to save his ship, you know? He was trying to save his ship. And I get that, I get that. But he's trying to evacuate people as well, you know? He's trying to not put other people's lives at risk. Uh, the end is near. Yes, the end is near. The end is near. All right, what's, what time is it? All right, the final plunge will begin very shortly. And we are still at 10 degree list of port. That's funny that the, that the uh, starboard list didn't increase that much more over time. It's funny how that didn't happen. Oh, can I climb this? Oh, oh, oh. Can I parkour my way up this? Parkour? Parkour. Ah, uh, can I not? It might not be far enough over. Nah, I can't. Dang it. Oh, wait. Ah, come on. I want to parkour. I so want to parkour. I want to parkour. Parkour, parkour. Oh, here we go. Let's try this. I know you can do this. The, the jumping mechanic in this is weird. Okay. And I am being so careful. It's like, um, oh, here we go. And... <gasps> Ninja! <laughs> I got it! I have parkoured my way up onto the gantry down. Oh, crap. Uh, Guys, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> uh... I think, uh, I think we're in trouble, guys. Uh, <laughs> Ninja. Uh-oh, uh-oh. She's going. Okay, these last few boats are getting ready to leave. Oh, crap. All right, water is now on the... It's, it's approaching the B-deck level now. I can just see water coming up on the B-deck. Any second now, Britannic is going to blow the whistles. To, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Captain Barlett is going to blow the Britannic's whistles to abandon ship. It's going to happen any second now. There it goes. Two long blasts of the whistle. And Britannic's final plunge has begun. Listen, talking to you guys and hanging out here on the chat and everything, that hour went by fast. It's amazing how fast this hour went by. Holy crap. Uh, Libby, when did Britannic's first funnel fall? I don't think there is a definitive answer on the order that Britannic's funnel spell. I don't think there's a definite, like, we don't know for certain exactly when that happened. Look at all these beds. Uh, why do I feel like this was a mistake? Uh, uh, guys, um, uh, <laughs> uh, I think I just screwed up. Uh, I think, uh, uh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I want to. I want to watch the. Uh, I want to watch the sinking from the deck. Okay, we're up on the boat deck. Let's see. R.I.P. I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Everything. Uh, 98. Didn't they fall in sequence? No, they did not. At least as far as I know, they didn't fall in order. Oh. Uh, this is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's. There's no problem. There's no problem. Uh, we're, no, we're just listing uh, pretty heavily. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Let's see here. Dark says, how long was the Britannic? She was slightly larger than the Olympic and Titanic, but her exact feet, I'm not sure. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Scratch says, Sam, just emptied the ballast. It's okay. Uh, I don't think that's gonna help. Alright, it's time to abandon the bridge, guys. Our final list. Oh, crap! Uh, okay, it's 9 o'clock! Uh, 
go, 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 go. The final list is 20 degrees. Final list at the time of at the time we had to abandon the bridge. She's listing 20 degrees. 66. Run, Sam, run! All right, we're out. We're out. We're swimming away. We're swimming away. CJ, I heard that they found a mine at the wreck site. I heard that. Like, they found the remains of a mine. There she goes. Nickelodeon walking away, you mean? Yeah. So, yeah, this game has no uh, swimming physics. So, uh, yeah, you just... Uh, uh, <laughs> Dark says, I hope you are a good swimmer. Yeah, right? Holy cow. Uh, let's see. So at this time, this was when the engineering crew got out of the ship. They emerged from the Britannic on sea deck, and they looked forward, and they said they saw the first funnel touching the water. They jumped from the, they jumped from the ship from the sea deck landing, and as they swam away, they watched the ship go down. But that was the chief engineer. Uh, Joseph Wolf? Is that his name? Maritime fact check me. Joseph Wolf, was that the chief engineer? Or uh, that, That's the name that comes to mind, but I don't know if I'm right. Uh, there goes the third funnel. Uh, everybody's saying stay on, stay on the ship, stay on the ship. All right, you know what? I am going to double check. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to stay on board the Britannic. Okay, okay, we're going back to the ship. Okay, I'm back on board the Britannic. We are gonna try to run at. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't know how much longer I can actually walk on the decks. Okay, there is no way I could actually walk on the Britannic's deck if it was slanted like this, and I was really here. There is no way. Okay, okay, go, 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 uh, uh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Why did I listen to you guys? Why did I listen to you guys? Okay, there's no way I can go up those stairs. There's no way. Uh, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. Uh, uh, okay, maybe if I go up here. I want to be able to watch the ship sink. Uh, this was a mistake. Why did I listen to you guys? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to stay right here. I'm gonna try to stay right here. Thwaint, uh, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I can't. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I'm glitched. I can't. You can hear me hitting the keys. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't move anymore. I can't move. If I move, oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, Wondery says, was anyone trapped inside the ship while it was sinking? As far as we know, no. Uh, oh. Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna see where I'm at. Uh. Oh, uh, great, I'm still stuck. <laughs> I'm still stuck. Uh, load not to exceed two and a half tons. Good to know. Good to know. But as far as I know, uh, no one was stuck inside the ship during the final plunge. 30 people did lose their lives in the sinking, but some were lost. Up oh, there goes the fourth funnel. Some were lost when the uh, ship hit the mine. And then the others were lost in the propeller. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, Random says, hey, Sam, can you play, uh, please play Tiny Sailor World? It is a cool ship game. Uh, yeah, eventually. Eventually. I'll, people keep mentioning that. Can I move? I can't move. I legit can't move. I legit can't move. Ah! I legit can't move. Dang it! I can't move. Uh, Thorne says, captain stays with the ship. But I'm not the captain! I'm not the captain! <laughs> I am not the captain. Uh, Oceanic says, it's a big wave. We are having a blackout. Everything is okay. Uh, guys? I, uh... <laughs> Toby says, experience the Titanic sinking, please. So that game hasn't come out yet. Oh my gosh. Why did I listen to you guys? Why did I listen to you guys? Oh, oh, can I move? Can I move? <gasps> I can move. I can move. I can jump free. I'm free! No! Oh, okay, okay. I can get away. I am free! I unglitched. I can get away from the ship. Uh, nerd to thank you. We just got 350, 365 streak on. I've never heard that. Okay, so you guys just heard a really loud bang. The Britannic just hit the seafloor. The Britannic just hit the bottom of the ocean. The bow of the ship is hit the bottom and the stern is still sticking. Because the Britannic is only in 400 feet deep water. I say only 400 feet. But yeah, the Britannic just hit the bottom. Toby says, get on the ship, get on the ship. Okay, you know what? Fine. If you guys want me to try to be on board the ship until the very last second, 
I do know one other trick that might get me on board the Britannic for a second. Uh, but I think her final plunge is beginning, so I, we do not have much time. Okay, we're just gonna walk on the hall. Everything's fine. La di da di da 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 da. Uh, Belt says, "Oh, you live in Kia? That's incredible, dude! Holy cow, you're in Kia, so you know all about." Uh, notice this vessel has triple screws. Please keep clear of blades. Interesting. Uh, why did I listen to you guys? Why did I listen to you guys? Ah! <laughs> and just like that, Britannic has slipped beneath the surface. HM HS Britannic. <laughs> Hawkeye, Sam's final words. Why did I listen to you guys? <laughs> right. Why did I listen to you guys? Those are my final words. <laughs> Man, that hour went by fast. That's incredible. That's insane. That is absolutely insane how fast that hour went by. The historic experience is dedicated to the memory of the 30 souls lost in the sinking of HM HS Britannic, November 21st, 1916. <clears throat> Nine men of the Royal Army Medical Corps. 21 men of the Mercantile Marine. And that is Britannic Patroness of the Mediterranean. Let's jump to, uh, let's see, Armas. Here we go. We're going to go to this while we wrap up everything. <clears throat> So yeah, this uh, another cool thing about this game is not just uh, from just you can just do the sinking if you want, but you can actually see the Britannic as she was at sea, and this is how she would have looked if she had become a passenger liner. So this is how Britannic would have been if she had done her intended role as a passenger ship. Absolutely beautiful ship. It's really sad what happened to her, you know. Let's see. I would want to ride on that ship. Yep. She's a beautiful liner. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, hey, I think this is a good place to go. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hey, guys. So, um, hang on, hang on. I need. To, I want to show you guys something before we before we sign off. I want to show you guys something. So, you know how during my last live stream, um. How during my last live stream, we did, uh, we talked about my, uh, my horror stories with, uh, when I worked cell phone retail and everything, you know how we talked about that. So I came across this really funny YouTube video of this guy that had a terrible experience on, uh, Spirit Airlines. Uh, do you guys want to watch that with me, uh, before I wrap up? I think you guys will find it absolutely hilarious. It is one of the funniest videos that I have ever seen. And if you guys want to watch it, I'm like, I got to show this to my chat next time I'm live. Do you guys want to see it? You guys want to see it before we sign off? Yes, yes, yes. All right, here, you guys have to watch this. You guys have to watch this. Uh, I want you guys to watch this really short video and then tell me what your reaction would be after it's over. Okay. I want you guys to see this and then yeah. you guys tell me what, uh, what your reaction would be after if you were yeah. in this exact same uh, situation. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. You guys should be able to see it. There we go. All right, guys, watch this. Watch this. Can you guys hear? I really want to travel more, yeah, but start never the audio. again on Spirit Airlines. Watch this, guys. Watch this. <laughs> you guys flown on Spirit Airlines? The Motel 6? Listen of to the this sky? comedian. It's great. <laughs> You've experienced that? The only airline with roaches, okay? Except I love the, the animation. the roaches walk on the plane, they look around like, I don't need this. I don't need it. I feel like Spirit is so cheap, they just tape a picture of clouds to the outside of the windows. <laughs> and drive you to your next location. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, I was on a Spirit Wait, this is it. This is it. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. We watch this. We haven't watch pushed this. back yet. So I got on the plane and I sat down. Watch this. And the flight attendant comes on the intercom and she goes, uh, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your flight attendant speaking, Janice. <laughs> and I just want to let you all know that we're having a bit of a weight distribution issue on the aircraft today. So if we have any volunteers that would like to move to the back of the plane, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you. And I was like, oh, a weight distribution issue? <laughs> So immediately, I move to the back of the place, and I sit down, and I strap myself in, and I look Wait forward, for and no one else had moved. 
No one had moved. So I'm thinking like, okay, do these people just want the plane to do front flips in the sky? So nobody moves. Wait for it. And Wait a few for minutes it. later, I see Janet start to waddle her way toward the back of the plane. And she sits down next to me and she looks over and says, hey, thank you so much for moving. And I was like, yeah, no problem. Is everything okay? And she goes, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm legit crying. The spirit airlines, fly with us. We'll see. <laughs> and we'll see. And we'll see. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I just. I was telling you guys all my horror stories from retail, and I saw that. I'm like, I've got to share this to my chat next time I go live. So what would you guys do, okay? What would you guys do if you're on an airplane, and you ask the flight attendant, is everything okay? And they go, we'll see. What would you all do? <laughs> what would you guys do if, uh, what would you guys do? Would you... <laughs> Get off. <laughs> I don't know. I jump off of that plane. <laughs> I'm bailing out. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, hey, with that, I think we've reached the end of the live stream. I think that was, I just, when I saw that video, I'm like, you guys love my cell phone stories. So I guess I just wanted to tell you guys about that. All right, everybody. Well, hey, thank you guys so much for tuning into this stream. Everybody did super chats. Thank you. Everybody did regular comments. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for all the support. Y'all are awesome. And I'll see you all in the next one. Y'all take care. Thanks for being here.